today I'm going to be looking at brick laying trowels. Now if there's any number of trowels on the market today, the Chinese ones costing half the price of some of the better quality ones. How do you know you're getting a good trowel and value for money? I'm going to take these trowels out and ask the people who use them day in, day out. And if they don't know a good trowel from a bad one, then nobody does. I mean, if you're going to go and buy something, you normally buy a marshal trail, don't you? Yeah, that one's not too bad. WHS, work hard and stuff. Who, who do you know? Who, what professional bricklayer do you know that don't use a marshal? That's probably one of the better ones, I think. Well, I've got a really old trail. I've had it about 15 years, and it's a marshal town. But it's not an American pattern. It's an old WHS pattern. And I've uh, never seen another one like it. It's worn in nicely, it's got a nice handle and a good balance. My preferred weapon of choice. So what is a builder looking for in a trowel? He's looking for good quality steel, something that's flexible, something that's responsive. The tool is really an extension of his arm. You see the way that they use them, scraping gently, it's really quite deft. There's nothing clumsy about it at all. And they're holding that trowel for eight hours a day, five days a week. So it has to feel really comfortable. It doesn't want to cause calluses and the balance or what they call the hang has to be absolutely dead right. Once they get used to a trowel, they know that trowel, they tend to go back and use the same trowel over and over again. I've just dropped a few bricks for that. Yeah. You can see it shaking your nail about it. Feels like it's going to come off. This is the Marshall Town. Tried and tested, immediately feels exactly how you want it in your hand. I don't think it's just, just because of familiarity, but the handle size is perfect. That angle there falls just nicely onto your fingers where it needs to do. There's nothing here to get too clogged up with mess, so you can remain clean and tidy. Um, the trowel's finished nicely, there's no, no deep burrs or anything, and that has got the perfect flex in that blade. Um, really, there's not a lot that I can say about that that there's not to like. For a tool to use all day long, there's nothing that I can think of that, yeah, they need to brush up on that. They know what they're doing, they make a great trowel. A bit front heavy, take a bit of wearing in. Nice flexibility on the blade. I think that's important. The original WHS ones are so thick, they've got no flexibility to the blade, which means you can be a bit clumsy, a bit brutal when using it for fine circumstances. Um, I would go Marshall Town, then that, then the WHS, then that. Our Ragni, yeah. Possibly the ox in that, but I probably out of a rating, I probably would buy one of them to be honest. Sure. First thing, probably balance. Make sure it feels right in your hand. Comfort, obviously, it's something you use all the time, all day long, it's never out of your hand, so it's got to feel right immediately. Um, this trail straight away I can feel where it's got a sharper edge there yeah. it's cutting onto my hand straight away that's I can feel that against my hand and all the time that's going to do my head in slightly wider not so long so the front end balance isn't so uncomfortable uh, yeah I can see myself using that one obviously I think with all trials it takes a certain amount of time to wear them in to get rid of that sort of blunt edge on them. And I think with trowels that you use every day, small differences make a big difference. First thing I notice is the handle is slimmer. Uh, that's okay, that's fine. It feels quite slim at the neck there. That's all right, it's quite comfortable. 
slightly better balanced than the faithful. Um, nice amount of flex in the trail blade for me. I like that. The only thing I find with that, where this is very heavy and you've got this deep recess there, that is just going to fill up with pug and then that pug will come round and eventually start being on your hands unless you are all day long flicking it off and banging it and digging at it which will eventually become a bit of a nuisance. So that wasn't a scientific survey, it was just a random selection of builders and a random selection of trowels but it was pretty emphatic. I mean most of those builders were using Marshall Town and they seemed to want to stick to the brand they knew. They weren't tempted by the cheaper brands coming in from China. Even the younger builder coming into the trade was looking at his older colleagues, seeing what they were using, and he was persuaded to use the same. But of course, what we must remember is that a trowel takes time to break in. Even the so-called ready-to-go ones, pre-worn in if you like, still take a little bit of time to wear in and for the builder to get used to them. So the last thing they want is after they've invested that time in breaking that trowel in, for that trowel to fall apart. So they tend to stick to what they know, and who can blame them?